Exercise 17F, Limits and Continuity. Continuous curves are ones where there are no gaps in them. So one of the most common graphs that have gaps that we've studied so far would be hybrid functions. At some point, you may be asked to find uh, what is the value of x at a certain point where there is some overlap or minor overlap. And it's not quite as straightforward to say what the answer is. So instead, what we might do is we might find a thing called a limit. A limit is the value as x approaches a certain value. So for example, when we have dealt with hyperbolas that have vertical asymptotes, we've often said when x, so if we had 1 over x minus 2, there is a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. We've often said, oh, when x equals 2, the value is infinity or something along those lines. Well, actually, no, the value of x doesn't exist. But what we can say is that the limit as x approaches 2 is that it is equal to, it is approaching infinity. So let's have a look at example one, shall we? When x equals four, what is the con function continuous? Now you probably can see already by the pictures that we've got a gap here and we don't have, in, there are no gaps here. So just by simply using that logic, I can say this is not continuous and this is continuous. However, I need to be also able to state this using mathematical reasoning. And so this is when we talk about limits. I talk about the limit as x approaches the value of 4 uh, from the left and also from the right. So I would say limit as x approaches 4. You see, I'll put a little minus sign. I don't mean negative 4. I mean 4 coming from the left. So if you see that... That means from the left. The function is equal to, in this case, it is equal to 4. And then if I was to come from the other side, so you can possibly guess what I'm going to write from the other side, it's 4 with a little positive sign at the top. f of x is equal to, and in this case, it would be 1. And so all I can say here is that the limit as x approaches 4 from the negative does not equal the limit as x approaches 4 from the right. And therefore, it is not continuous. Whereas the one example on the right here, we've got the limit as x approaches 4 from the left is going to be equal to 4. And the limit as x approaches 4 from the right is also equal to 4. And so therefore, the limit equal to the limit as it comes from the right and therefore continuous at x equals 4. Not Example two, find the following limits. Now, often when we're finding a limit, you might think just to substitute the number that's in the underneath the limb sign. But you'll notice if I do that, I'll get a zero take away two over zero in that example, that first one there for i. So we're going to need to do a little bit of simplification. So of course, this would be equal. So we'll take a common factor out of that numerator and then we can cancel those x's out. And so therefore, the limit as x approaches zero will be zero take away two, will be negative two. Now I've had a lot of people tell me that what, what, what's the whole point of the limit? Can I just say that um, x e once you do the simplification that you're just substituting x equals zero. Well, technically speaking, even if I have simplified it, I am simplifying this. This step here has a little conditions apply, if you like. So conditions apply. And the only time I can legitimately simplify is knowing full well that x cannot be equal to zero, because otherwise this would be nonsense. 
So that's why we can't just say replace with zero because we have to have that conditions apply, which might seem like mathematical pernicketiness, but it is essential in order to be able to um, fully guarantee that you are saying something that is absolutely truthful in mathematics. With L, we've got two quadratics. So if it's anything similar to the example above, we probably have to do some sort of simplification. And by simplification, I mean factorization. So hopefully there might be a couple of brackets that we can chuck the numerator and the denominator in. Two numbers that multiply together to get two, add together to get negative three. Well, that's going to be minus two and minus one. Two numbers that multiply together to get five, uh, add together to get negative six, minus five and minus one. Well, we can see here, we can simplify those. And again, given that uh, with x does not equal to 1. So then at this step, we can now do the limit as x approaches 1. 1 minus 2, 1 minus 5, negative 1, ne I mean negative 4, which is equal to 1 quarter. Example three, for each of the following functions, state each value of x at which there is a discontinuity. Use the definition of continuity in terms of f of a, f, lim x approaches a positive f of x and lim x approaches a negative f of x to explain why each stated value of x corresponds to a discontinuity. So to solve this, what I might do is have a look at uh, the domain. So the, it's the value of the hybrid function is y equals 3x when x is greater than or equal to 0. So where, where's the other one's less than 0? So let's start by doing uh, the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. So that's going to be f of 0, which is equal to 3 times 0 which is equal to zero. As I'm coming in from the left, however, because the discontinuity will be at this value zero here, um, I'm just going to substitute in this one. So negative two, zero plus two, which is equal to two, because that's coming in from the left. This is less than zero. This is greater than zero. So if I was to just to draw a really rough picture, this is what the graph would look like. So the left one, this one here, is going to be that one up there. And then this one is going to be this little graph here. So there's the discontinuity. So as it's coming in from the left, the value when x equals 0 is going to be 2. But when it's continuing on, uh, uh, if I'm coming in from the right on the yellow one, it's going to be zero. So therefore, I can say the limit as x approaches from the, the right is not equal to coming from the left, therefore not continuous. For B, it'll be a very similar concept. We've got a quadratic when x is greater than one, but we've got a linear function when x is less than one. So let's do the limit as x approaches 1 from the positive. So that's going to be uh, 1 squared plus... And then the limit as x approaches the negative, or from 1 from the negative. So because the values of when I substitute x into either one of those hybrid functions, because I get a different if you like y value or f of x value, then there's a discontinuity. And so now I can state mathematically that as the limit as x approaches from the left, uh, or in this case approaches from the right, does not equal to the limit as x approaches one from the left. It is not continuous.